I'm Alex Reyna with Tuts Plus, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your Max icons. In this quick tip, I'll demonstrate a simple method for changing the icons, which you'll be able to use to change the icons for folders, drives, and even applications. First things first, we'll need a custom icon to use. The file format Apple uses for icons in OS X is called .icns. To find our icon, we're going to use an awesome search engine devoted just to icons called Icon Finder. It's located at iconfinder.com, but I've included a link to the site in the body of this tutorial. Let's search for an icon for my SD card. We'll search Drive, as broader searches will inevitably lead to more results. This is important, as we're going to narrow down our search in just a second. Like I said, we'll need to set some parameters for our search. First, let's only look for free icons. Next, we'll drag these sliders so that we're only looking at icons that are 512 pixels by 512 pixels. This is the minimum size you should look for to ensure that your icons don't look blurry, especially if you're using a new retina display. Now, let's narrow our search down to icons that are smooth. These icons most closely resemble the OS X style. Alright, great. Here's one I like. Now that I've found an icon that meets my exacting standards, I just have to hit download. When downloading your icon, make sure to do it in .icns format. Again, this will save us the hassle of having to convert it. Now that we've got our icon, I'll first show you how to apply it to a disk or folder. Either way, the process is the same. First, control click the icon and select Get Info. If you're a bit overwhelmed by all this information, don't be. We're only going to concern ourselves with the two icons in the window. Believe it or not, in OS X, icons actually have their own icons. In the top left hand corner, you can see the default icon here is just the preview icon. That's no good. We can fix this by dragging the large icon onto the smaller one, like so, until you see the little green plus. Once that's appeared, just release and you'll see the changes applied. Once we've finished up there, we're going to move on to actually assigning our drive or folder its custom icon. Don't close out of the Get Info window for the icon just yet, though. Navigate to the folder or drive with the icon you'd like to change. In my case, that's this one called SD card. Just like with the icon file, we're going to control click and select Get Info. You'll notice the drive icon is in both the preview and the icon slot. The good news is, we can change both in one foul swoop. To do so, we'll go back into the Get Info window for our file and select the icon in the top left corner. As an aside, you'll notice it's selected when you see the blue border around the icon. Now, hit Command-C to copy. Finally, we'll head back over to the Get Info screen for our SD card, and select the icon in its top left corner. Just hit Command-V. Magical, right? Our drive now has its custom icon. I'll repeat this process for a folder as well, so you can see how identical it really is. Since we've already copied the icon, I won't bore you with doing that again. Now, I'll just find the folder whose icon I'd like to change. Control click, choose Get Info, and select the tiny icon in the top left. Now, just like with the drive, I'll press Command V. And what's that? Our folder just got itself a fancy new icon. Alright, so we've just changed the icons for a drive and a folder using the exact same process. I hope it's not too shocking, then, that the process is nearly identical for applications, too. So let's do it. We'll navigate to the application whose icon we'd like to change. I'll choose Disk Utility. Now you guessed it, we're going to click Control click and choose Get Info, and select the tiny icon in the top left. We copied the icon way back when I was showing you how to change the icon for a drive, so I'm not going to do that again. Now, I'll just press Command V, and oh no, this is different. Don't worry, for many applications, your Mac will ask you to verify that you're an administrator by typing in your admin password. I'll do that, hit OK, and no surprise here, our icon has been applied. Now finally, before I leave you, I'll show you one last trick. Let's say you've realized the grass really wasn't greener on the other side and you want your old icon back. Well, you're in luck. 
just select that little icon in the top left and hit delete on your keyboard. Authenticate if you must, and our long lost icon is back. I'm Alex Serena with Tuts Plus, wishing you the best of luck with all your customizations.